Sometimes work gets a bad press. We often read about people being stressed at work, but I think as well, we have to remember that for most people, their job is a positive part of their life and it enhances their well-being. It's good for them. The question we started asking was, if it's that good for you, how much of it do you need to get the benefits? What we're interested in is what happens when people have a genuine 20% reduction in their working time, which usually means going from working a five-day week to a four-day week. We're trying to look inside organisations that are trying a four-day week to find out what motivated them to want to try it, what kind of obstacles are they encountering, how do staff feel about it, and also the critical question, are some policies better than others? I was very fortunate to be part of a large ESRC grant, Digit. And we got that funding before the pandemic. Little did we know that the pandemic was coming, ways in which people's working lives would change, hybrid work in the four-day week. But it gave us that freedom to branch out and see those new things, those things that nobody had dreamt were coming our way pre-pandemic. And that's what gave us the funding to be able to look at what was happening in working time reduction during the pandemic, in furloughs and so on, and then morph that research into looking at how working hours changed after the pandemic, leading us to join up with other teams and looking at these big four-day week experiments. Initially, it was a bit of a fantasy, utopian vision, but what we found again and again is that people do just as much work in those four days as they did in five days. Their well-being improves enormously. They can spend more time with their children, and it's a good way of spreading work around to make sure that other people aren't excluded from the world of paid work. The big breakthrough in the UK was when we were involved in companies going to a four-day week. In those companies, we had thousands of employees and we could measure their quality of their daily lives, what they were doing, how they were spending time, how much sleep they got, all those things. There were trials in other countries, but the UK was the biggest one. For six months, the survey team, who were based at Boston College in the US, they looked into a whole range of metrics of 61 organisations. And the results that we see across these measures are always tremendously positive. But it didn't stop there. The interesting thing then is that lots of other companies reading about those results from 2022 started to adopt that model themselves. Most recently, South Cambridge District Council. We are in a very high cost of living area and um, we have to compete against private sector, which are able to offer much higher salaries than we can. And we thought, why not trial a four day week here at South Cairns to give us that extra bit of edge in retention and recruitment. We can improve our productivity, we can improve our retention and recruitment of staff and provide a better service to our residents uh, by adopting a four day week. Each situation, each organisation has adapted it creatively, drawing upon people's own experiences of how they can work differently, how they can reschedule meetings, have more efficient use of time, better ways of communicating, all sorts of ways that they can adapt to this new way of working. But there's a sort of big question that underpins all of this. How can we move from these isolated business-led experiments to the idea of four-day week as something that's introduced on a society-wide scale and is available to everybody. I think perhaps the most exciting result of the pilot is that when we went back to the 61 organisations a year later, 56 of them were still continuing with a four-day week, which I think shows that it was popular with staff, but it also shows that businesses can do this without kind of tanking their productivity and their output. Now, suddenly people's imagination is opened up to the fact that we could have such better lives. We've fundamentally changed the way that people are thinking about work. Once people have experienced a four-day week, they don't want to go back.